All right. It's time for some chef. I've been doing some cleaning and stuff off camera and getting things ready so we can just put it together. I don't want to bore you with cleaning. Um, we got a new gasket here for our tappet cover. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Um, one of these screw holes holds the return line for the injection pump. I think it's this one on the end here. But I don't know for sure. I'll just snug it. Can't really torque it. That one's pretty good. And that one's gonna leak. And we'll do that one last. Here comes the injection pump. I might end up replacing this line. And I need to wipe these all off because we're gonna do a little bit of a paint job on these. Okay. A little bit on here. I am going to apply more Loctite. So there's a little mark right here on the case and the uh, pump. We'll just realign this so that um, it'll be back into its spot. And then uh, we'll put the timing gear on to get that snugged up and then we'll go ahead and put our uh, um, Dumahickey on. Our uh, front cover because I got that ready with the new seal and everything. I don't know where my uh, special wrench that I made for this went. So we're just gonna do it like this with a tiny guy here. I might be able to get in there. I don't know. I'm getting dizzy and nauseous spinning around looking for this wrench and I just used it too. Huh, that came apart. We're gonna have to fix that. Boom. This is getting it. Yeah. fitting the injection lines and yeah they're right on the money no problems with the fitment and they're beautiful we are missing a couple of clamps because they vibrated loose because this injection pump came loose in that pile somewhere I have an extra set of injection lines and I'm just gonna rob the uh, clamps off and they look like these actually I already uh, I already disassembled them, so I have all the clamps, okay. Um, this guy here, I've got new copper bits for that. We'll uh, replace all those. Make sure all that's clean. We're looking for F. We're gonna set it to that timing mark right there, F. So there should be, we got, yeah, two dots here. So we'll get those lined up with the F, and that really should just be it. So if I go like, that'll be one over. I think we'll go like that. something like that and we'll just move this until we get the gear to see. Okay, I think that's going to be it right there. And 
we're going to take some red Loctite here and put a little dab in there. Get it to where it spills everywhere. Just want a tiny bit in there. Alright, what size was that? We'll just snug it like that. We'll get our torque wrench on there and torque it down. Alright, I got that knocked out. Brent hit the record button. Okay, let's make sure our gasket fits um, because there is a difference between um, first gen and 94 and up timing covers here. Looks like we match. Okay. Just like that, that comes out. We're good to go. What you doing? Around. So I'm slowly pecking away at this. I'm getting the oil pan situated. I was gonna wait till I do the rear mainsail, but I got a little trick for that. Um, I'm just working on getting the bolts or the screws put back in and getting the gasket situated. Um, but you know, that's fine. I'm not wearing a mask because of COVID. Oh, I need to fix something. This mask, because now I'm talking, it's gonna be a problem. I actually need to get a respirator. Um, but the reason why I got the mask on is because I've been painting and grinding and stuff and drinking White Claw. I didn't buy this, someone left it here. So I've been drinking it and I'm getting really buzzed on it. Um, yeah, so working on this and you know, I gotta have the garage door open or else it gets too hot in here. Look at this. Um, basically, most of Oregon is on fire. We have a fire near us about 30 miles away. At Hag Lake is apparently on fire. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a problem. So I masked up just so that I'm not breathing in particulates, like big chunks anyways. Um, because without the mask, I start coughing and having problems. And I really should be in the house, but eventually the stuff's gonna get into the house anyway. So I got my mask on and uh, right here, just kind of working on my engine. You gotta do something, right? But uh, yeah. Um, that oil pan, I cleaned up and I did the first layer with uh, undercoating. I wanted, I had an old can of undercoating I wanted to kill off. So I undercoated it to give it a layer of insulation. And then I've, uh, well, I mean, it wasn't, it's not too thick. I mean, it doesn't have a blanket on it basically. But I gave it, undercoating to try and you know maybe give it a layer of insulation and then I hit the undercoating with a a couple of coats of this uh, stuff here 
So we'll see how that holds up to the heat. Um, I'm gonna get the oil pan cinched up. I'm not using any silicone on it. Um, I decided not to do that. I'm just gonna cinch her up. And then after that, I think I'm gonna clean up my fuel pump, my piston style fuel pump. We get that kind of cleaned up looking nice. And then we'll get that mounted on here with new gaskets, which I have. Um, I need to get new washers for the banjo bolts. And then um, I probably won't do it today, but some other time we'll get to, like I talked about, chopping this off of the uh, bracket there. And then uh, we'll get to mounting that on. But I actually need to get new bolts. It's got, I think, one factory bolt and then a miscellaneous, and they're both different sizes, and I'm just gonna get new bolts for that. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is what we're looking like so far. It's kind of looking like an engine. Yeah. I got some more work to do. Um, at this point, I'm gonna do some progress report stuff. And that's about it. There's actual ash floating in the garage right now. That's great. Well guys, this is where I'm gonna leave off with uh, this project here. I'm gonna be heading out of town. And uh, with that I won't be uh, spending any more money on this until I get back uh, because, well, you know, got a road trip. Gotta save the money for the road trip. But for the Johnson's Garage channel, we got some Crown Victoria stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got some Crown Victoria stuff. Spark plugs, airbags, shocks for my Lincoln Town car are gonna go on, window regulator, fuel filter. <sighs> There's another part I gotta throw in there before I forget. Anyways, that's gonna be on the Johnson's Garage channel. I'm sure you guys, you Panther guys are gonna like that. Anyways, um, back to this. Um, this is where she sits right at the moment. Um, I'm probably actually going to get a 2x4 or something under there and maybe, I don't know, I'm sure it'll be fine. It's been sitting on this for about a month now. When we come back, I'm going to do kind of a reveal because I'm going to finish up doing my painting and, uh, you know, putting new stuff in, I like washers and whatnot, wiring harness, um... You know, the whirly boy that goes here, that um, may not be the same. We get it, We did all the important bits um, that I wanted to cover with you guys, um, at least cover my experience and maybe share a little bit of information, which we mostly got our information from the Cummins book. Um, oh, and that reminds me, I've got a PDF that I need to, um, well, I guess I could probably put the link down in the description for the manual. Um, but someone was, uh, I told him I was going to send him the manual. I got to go, I'd get on the computer and do that. But anyways, I'm going to cut this video here. We're going to come back. Um, I don't know when I'll get to be able to do what I'm going to do because I got to order some things. Um, but yeah, um, well, I do have to do this, but I talked about cutting this part of the bracket off. This is a new bracket that supports the pump and my vacuum pump. That was something I didn't put on when I put that on. I have to put that on because that will eventually crack that case. And that's not why that leaked oil. This started leaking oil after I took this apart again to put new gaskets on. And uh, we were getting our leak from right in here and uh, whatnot. So. But I'll put that bracket on, I'll do a little show and tell, show you what I did and how it looks. But yeah, the, when we come back, this is going to be uh, um, a little bit different. Yeah, it'll be a progress report type stuff because I got some things here that... Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to... Right now, I don't know what I'm doing. I've been watching too much Vice Grip Garage. I need to just stop. So anyways, I'm gonna cover this up just to keep the dirt off. 
Um, yeah, so this uh, will be the last 4BT video for a little bit, probably. Um, yeah, I've got some parts I gotta order, but I can't order until after my trip, so and I would like to wait until my next payday. Uh, so yeah, anyways, um, that's gonna go on a pause for a little bit until we get some more parts. Um, and on the Johnson's, Johnson's Garage channel, we got uh, spring elators, shock elators, uh, fuel making happener filter thing. Hey, what's he called? Spark elators? Yeah, spark elators. Uh, window up and downer thing. Um, there's some other stuff in there too. Yeah, that's gonna be for my sister's uh, uh, Crown Vic needs some work, so that will be a video series um, which will probably happen in a couple weeks, a week or two on Johnson Scratch. I don't know. We'll see. Um, oh, I also got to order a fuel filter for that and some other stuff. And then I got a $200 order from LMC Truck I need to put in for uh, the truck. So we, that kind of goes with this whole engine thing here. Um, yeah, so uh, with that said, I'm going to kind of sign out here and in this video and maybe just maybe I might clean my garage and organize it eh, probably not oh and don't forget check out the links down below right here or down here <laughs> if I, like, Derek if I scrap garage cracks me out he's just like we're just gonna do this you know like that uh oh uh oh, I gotta go.